Well, that was complete and total hell. I'll never be doing this again. What's up? So it is 7.30, or 7, oh my God. It is 6.35 p.m. and we have to run out the door because I am just a teensy, teensy, teensy bit running late for night shift number one. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm Casey, I'm an ER tech as well as a nursing student. I'm actually in an accelerated nursing program and for some week, or for some weird reason, I decided you know what, accelerated nursing school isn't hard enough, working isn't hard enough. I'm gonna work a night shift and then tomorrow go to class after my night shift, like shower and then immediately go to class. So let's spend the next hectic 24 hours together. Good morning, you guys. We survived night number one. And right now I feel good but I did also just get off work. Um, I'm really proud of myself. I only drank one energy drink and I'm gonna try not to drink another one, but if I'm like desperate in class, I'll drink one. And I was super lucky because day shift got there right on time. So I was able to leave right at seven. So it is like 7.05 right now and I'm already on my way home. So I can shower and eat because I am so hungry but last night was really good i was out in triage which if you haven't clicked on one of my videos before i absolutely love triage it's probably one of my favorite places in the er to be just because i can use so many assessment skills and now especially being in nursing and learning all these like additional assessment skills i'm literally applying what i use in class at my job so that's absolutely amazing um i'm gonna be honest with you guys the patient population i am the least comfortable with is newborns so like less than a month old you know they're just so young so fragile i have a really hard time with them i'll be honest with you and I checked in a newborn last night and they were like a fresh newborn, like less than two weeks, fresh out the oven. <laughs> and so they were coming in for cold flu symptoms. So that was just concerning because they're that young obviously and like any sort of illness in a kid that young is an emergency and so literally like doing a very detailed respiratory assessment on them in triage and well like detailed but triage detailed like not full head to toe like nursing you know so that was um that was a good little test of my abilities last night um, but it is November here in mid-Missouri, so we are kicking into cold flu season. So that was most of the patients I checked in last night. Um, a lot of cold flu symptoms. Um, and then also I checked in a couple of laboring mothers, which is honestly a nice change of pace because usually the ER, like people are coming there because they feel awful where like those laboring moms, they have looked forward to coming and giving birth for nine months. And so like their excitement was nice to be around, just like a different little change of pace. But I need to skedat home. Then I need to shower, eat, and then it's gonna be time to go to our lecture. Um, I think it'll be okay. I've never done this before, but I'm one of those people where I'm very much like mind over matter. 
it's all about your mindset like if you have a positive mindset you can do anything like that's just I don't know I'm one of those I believe in the power of thought I'm one of those people so I'm staying positive it's gonna be fine I mean I've worked night shifts before gone out with friends drinking stayed up for 24 hours so it's like I should be able to sit in a lecture for three hours if I can like go out drinking and partying with my friends after a night shift Respect for your boundaries Girl, you hit too close to the edge now Only thing they got is toxicity vibes today literally not even wearing a bra just wearing like a t-shirt under this um but I have a three-hour lecture and so far I feel fine um I just ate and chilled um but I haven't tried to do any critical thinking yet so updates to come but let's head off to lecture Hold up. was complete and total hell <laughs> oh my gosh a three-hour lecture has never felt so long I'll never be doing this again will I do it again next week yes oh so this is my fundamentals of nursing class so just so much of what we go over in lecture just does not interest me. And it is honestly common sense. It's like critical thinking and stuff like that. So today we went over critical thinking and familial roles. Mind you, I would have had a much better attention span if I had not worked a 12 hour night shift. I have now been awake for well, like five. Oh, I've been awake for 20 hours. Let's, I can't even talk to you guys. Let's go to bed. Although I did get this package. So after I um, go to bed, or after, after I open this package, I will go to bed with you guys. But you guys, I did not order this. This is PR from Urban Decay. Little old me getting Urban Decay PR? What the heckin' Bob? Like, this is not real. They did not send me foundation because I need foundation. You guys, oh, oh my god. I got a makeup all nighter. Love this stuff. I actually need a new one. I got... A Hydromanic Blush Glow Hydrator. And I got, oh, two concealers. One in deep and one in medium dark. Hopefully one of those is my shade. No, no, but just telling me what everything is. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Urban Decay. You guys, I am... I don't know, my emotions probably aren't coming off on camera correctly because I genuinely have no emotions right now. Like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, I need to sleep. I can't, I until I sleep, I can't do anything else. But for all of you who are just watching this video right now, 
like thank you so much for supporting me because I was able to book two brand deals this month so I won't have to keep working this crazy night shift schedule. I'm getting sent PR by Urban Decay, one of the biggest makeup brands. Like, I don't know, I'm just feeling super blessed. I got into nursing school, like despite all my struggles, I actually wanna film that video really soon talking about like how I got into nursing, how I figured out this is the career I wanna go into, and really how I kind of like had to slap myself around and say, pull yourself together. Otherwise I wasn't gonna even get into nursing school to begin with. So I'm just feeling super blessed and I really appreciate you guys so, so much. So if you are watching this video right now, please go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up. Um, engaging with the video lets the algorithm know that you like this and it shows my video to more people and it helps me to keep being able to make content like this. But I'm literally gonna go to sleep right now and I'll see you guys when I wake up. Hopefully you guys can kind of see me. I know with daylight savings, like there is no light out. So everything is all funked up and I look super red, but I woke up from my nap. So I basically slept from like 1215 to 545 and I woke up and I was like, what year is it? Like, it was so pitch black dark outside. I thought I had missed my shift. I thought it was 5.45 a.m. But we are headed off to work. I'm feeling good. I want to have time to stop at Panera and get a drink, but I don't know if that'll happen. I brought an energy drink with me. I brought lots of food with me. I didn't have time to eat before I left, but I literally packed three meals because I was like, I'm gonna be prepared. And I know I'm probably, when I get there, I wanna snarf something down really quickly. And then I'll, usually I get hungry around like midnight, 1 a.m. And then I get hungry again at like five or six. And since tomorrow I have to flip my schedule, I like to eat breakfast at work. So then that way when I get home, I don't have to eat and I can shower and just go right into bed. Oh my God, you guys can't even see me, hi. But sitting, I know I didn't talk about it too much earlier, but sitting in my lecture class was physically painful and I do not want to do that again. It was just so hard because the material wasn't super engaging. Like it's stuff that as a nurse, you need to know, like you need to know critical thinking, you need to know clinical thinking, you know, you need to know the hierarchy of families and how they operate and stuff like that. But working in medicine already for three years, um, that kind of stuff has just kind of become second nature to me. So for me, it's like knowing the actual terms to what the things I've been doing for the last three years. Um, and so it was just so hard to sit in that class. It is the souped up truck with the loud muffler. Oh my God. So it was super hard to sit in that class and stay focused, stay awake. I felt exhausted. 
Um, I feel like a lot of the information was going one ear out the other, like nothing was really retained. So to be honest, I probably don't think I'm going to do this again, uh, just because Obviously when I'm in class, I want to be retaining information. Like that's a very important time. And for me to just be so exhausted that information is going in one ear out the other is not good. So I don't think night shift and then class without sleep is for me. Um, I know a couple of vlogs I have done where I worked a night shift took a four hour nap and then I went to class and that actually worked well for me. Like I was able to sit in class and retain info. Like I did just need that nap. Right now I'm headed into work and I'll see you guys in 12 hours and we'll do a little recap. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> oh,